there have been a lot of Michael Jackson impersonators throughout the decades. But Michael Trapson, he is by far, by far the best impersonator I have ever seen. And I'm a true Michael Jackson fan. All the way back from Motown, Gary, Indiana days. The Jackson 5. <sighs> Rest in peace to Michael Jackson, by the way. And this right here, I'm not doing for views. I'm doing because I'm a true that hard. Always been since I was a kid. I remember listening to Michael Jackson when I was 5, 6 years old. First time hearing him. And I remember that to this day. And I'm up there, you know what I'm saying? I'm up there. But we'll keep that for another, you know, time. You know, everybody don't need to know that. But yeah, uh, this is an interview he did on, I think it was uh, NBC, ABC News. I'm not sure it was. ABC News. And I got a lot of respect for this dude. A lot of people don't really consider him a good impersonator then you got a lot of people out there who do and he doing what he loves Michael Jackson is his favorite artist of all time and I have nothing against this dude nothing it's just he's the look he's going a little bit too far with it that's all you know it's ways to express how you feel about a certain individual without trying to change everything about you he's trying to legitimately look like Michael Jackson not the old Michael, not the young Michael Jackson, you know, the older Michael Jackson, you know, when he started doing all type of shit to his face and nose and stuff like that. He even got the, you know, when Michael Jackson did that Coke commercial, when his hair caught on fire and then he ended up having like that little mark on the side. He even got that shit from what I heard. So I'm about to check this out and see what he's talking about. Philadelphia filmmaker and musician is keeping the king of pop's legacy alive. He became well known back in 2016 when videos of his Michael Jackson impersonation went viral, and now he's doing even more with his passion for the late singer. Action News photojournalist Tom Kreschmer captured the story. My name is Dean Morrow, aka Michael Trapson. <laughs> Michael Trapson. Ooh, I want that jacket. I want that jacket. I'll rock that. Oh yeah. I want that jacket. Like my little brother, my parents. He's an alter ego. He's my way of uh, bringing Michael Jackson back to life in my own unique way. <laughs> you, know, you know, get the channel, uh, the energy of my favorite artist, Michael Jackson, and but with a twist. You must fail that, my man. <laughs> that was all me, Michael Jackson, MJ. Not little Michael with the Jacksons. There we go. I really went viral in 2016. I made a video called Michael Jackson Made Trap Music. And that was probably like the one like the most biggest moments. And it was like everywhere, like Lil Wayne, uh, Chris Brown. Nice to meet you, bro. Dude, it's awesome. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's crazy. <laughs> like, I thought I was a Michael Jackson fan. Blow me out of the water. Uh, 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 uh. His face is glowing. That's like one of his main things. He glows, and like when he glows, everybody watches. That's what I hear. I've, I've seen it the whole time, and that's what. And nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. He glows because he loves what he's doing. Michael Jackson is the person he looked up to. That's the person he respects the most. That was his idol. That's just who he is. And nothing wrong with it. Nothing. You know, a lot of people are against Michael Jackson because, you know, all that bullshit that was going on with him, with, you know, the children and stuff, which I don't believe. And I don't care. I would never believe that, ever. Unless it was some true, die-hard evidence against Michael Jackson, then, of course, I would have to sit back and be like, just like uh, R. Kelly. I don't like R. Kelly, the man. I like R. Kelly, the entertainer. That would have been the same thing with Michael Jackson. But I like Michael Jackson, the man and an entertainer because he, he was just a nice guy overall all that BS that was going on with Michael Jackson 
you know, all these women coming forward talking about he did this and such. Well, why did y'all let the kids go over to the never, never, uh, whatever that ranch is called? Why let the kids go and stay? If you knew all this shit was happening, so that's that's another reaction. I'm gonna talk about that another day, another time. You know what I'm saying? But Michael Trapson, I love it. He's very passionate about what he's doing, and like he said, he'll never let Michael Jackson. Like people forget who Michael Jackson was as an entertainer, and I like that, and I hope he keep doing it, and I hope he be very very successful in what he's pursuing. Nothing against it. Why well, I'm always inspired every time I, I watch him do his thing. Because the amount of people that are just gravitating towards his glow and his range and what he does, it's amazing. We walk away with good, good energy, uh, good moments, good memories, and a better fit body after all this dancing. <laughs> I hope he keep it alive. Keep it alive, my man. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't let nobody bring you down. And if you ever watch this reaction, never let anyone bring you down, my man. Keep Michael Jackson memory alive. Because the Jacksons surely ain't doing the shit. I don't know what the hell they doing, but they surely ain't keeping Michael Jackson memory alive. Maybe I'll be, I'm be missing out on some shit, but I don't really hear nothing about the Jackson 4. Nothing. Where the hell Jermaine at? Where the hell Tito at? Where the hell Janet at? Where the hell uh, Marlon at? Where the hell Latoya at? Rebe. No, you know, that's not part of the Jackson Fab. That's the Jackson family. I'm talking about y'all, the siblings. And it's a couple other ones out there. But I'm just saying, where they at? Keeping Michael memory alive. But y'all already know how it is. So hit up in the comments and let me know what y'all think of Michael Trapson. If you're a true fan. And as always, y'all know how we do. Until next time, peace, love, and deuces.